Welcome everyone. This is actually going to be our first official video on Zybooks. I'm actually going to go and make some other videos based upon the beginning of the chapter, but I wanted to start with this one here to give you an opportunity to go through the book and I will then make some videos on how exactly you should do the parts of Zybooks starting with the very beginning of chapter two. I'll do some explaining so there's parts that you may have missed. This will be an opportunity for you to get some little, some helpful hints in there, which I hope will really, really, really improve. So anyway, this video here is going to talk about 2.25, the lab driving cost. Now I have taught this course, class before, and one of the things that the Zybex labs does not tell you to do is create a prompt for the user to put in in fact unless it's changed if you put in a prompt it's going to mark you down so for instance let's look at what we have to do here driving is expensive write a program with the car's gas mileage and the cost of the gas as a floating point input and out Put the gas uh, for 20 miles, 75 miles, and 500 miles. As you're probably figuring, there's several different ways to do it. Then it wants you to output the floating point value with two digits. After the decimal point can be achieved by executing the C out fix and supposition. So what we have here is the template, which basically has nothing in here. So I'm going to show you this in Visio Studio. So let me switch to Visual Studio over here. And I have it open right here with the actual information from the activity. So this is basically the same thing. So what you're going to do here is you're going to declare the videos that you're going to need or the variables that you're going to need. Here and declare them as double. So that will take care of that. Then what you're going to need to do is get some user input. So what you're going to have to get is the user input for the gas mileage per gallon and the user input for how much does it cost. So in other words, if we go back to the actual instructions, which let's go back to that. And you can see that it wants you to input the miles per gallon and the cost of the mile for each one gallon of gas in here, which is $3.15.99, which is not too far off for what it actually is here in Miami, which is roughly $3.39. So it's not too, too, too far off. So you're going to need variables to hold the miles per gallon and you're gonna need variables to hold the cost of it. Then you're going to have to calculate how much for 20 miles, for 75 miles, and 50 miles. So what you can do is create three variables, one for 20, one for 75, one for 50, and just calculate that value based on 20 and what I'm going to do after this activity is closed and everybody has submitted, I'm going to show you the way that I would have done this exercise. But bear in mind that you have to do it the way Lab, Zylab, Zybooks, there we go, like I knew I could get it. Zybooks wants you to do it in order to get a grade. Now it does not give you any real specific information on what to do and what not to do. So to appease iBooks, create three variables, one for 20, one for 75, one for 500 to hold the miles that it's going to cost, and then just get the input of the miles per gallon and get the input for the cost and calculate that based upon 20, 75, and 500. So let's go back to... Visual Studio, 
And what you want to do is declare the variables that you need. And then now this is for the submission only, not for Zybooks. First thing you're going to do is see out and you're going to use a prompt for miles per gallon. And then you're going to use your CN to get the miles per gallon. Then you're going to also want a prompt for cost. And then you're going to do your CN for the cost. So let's just do a simple thing. I'll declare two quick variables and I'm going to declare them as double. And I will just declare, let's see, so we do I just do MPG to make it simple. And I always initialize everything. Zybooks does not require you to do it. So that's totally up to you. So when you submit to me, uh, I would like you to initialize it, but I will not take off if you do not. Then also double is price per gallon. Now notice that I'm initializing it to 0.0. .0. Also notice I'm not declaring both variables on the same line. I think it's much neater if you do everything separately. So then you're going to just do your simple prompt. How many miles per gallon? And I always tell my students in classes, don't put an end line after each one so that the CN appears on the same line. And let's go and do CN MPG. Then we'll do the same thing, C out. What? is the cost per gallon and let's put a question mark here and notice the space here before the quote and a space here before the quote then we'll do cn and price per gallon and then i'm going to print them out so to make sure I print out two decimal places, I'm going to do C out, fixed, and set precision to two. I like to do that on a separate line. That's just my personal preference. So I'm going to just type in C out. I'll just do the two separately without any words in here. So I'll do C out. MPG and C out price per gallon. That will let us know if there's any issues with our data input. And we have the return. So I'm going to run this one and let's see what happens. So basically, it's just going to ask us these two things and we're going to print them out here. Uh, you do not have to do that on what you submit. This is just for our testing purposes to make sure everything's good. Then you're going to need to calculate based upon these two. You're going to need other variables for the 20, 50, and 75 or whatever it is. Let's see. It is here somewhere. And there it is, 20, 75, and 50. So let's put that here. So you'll need a variable for the 20, for the 75, and for the 500. And let's run this and see how this goes. And how many miles per gallon? 
and the test is 20.0 and what is the cost and the test is 1.15 I believe nine. So let's see what we get. So we have 20 and 20. So everything looks good. This works. So then you'll just need to fill out your code over here. Let's go back to the original item here. So, oh, it's 1599. So you can see that you're going to fill in uh, 20. When, it, when you get your prompt and you can do 1599 and it's going to give you 316 because that's the cost of 20 miles, 1185 will be the cost for 75 miles and $79 even will be the cost for 500 miles. So I am hoping that this has helped you. Please let me know. Please subscribe to our channel that I'm setting up for this class. Leave your comments and let me know what you think? Have a wonderful day.